everyone and welcome again to Hagenstadt. Uh, we're back with Hitman 82. Howdy. And uh, we're back out at the shop again. Um, we, we, we seem to be spending quite a bit of money, Hitman. Uh, any concerns there? Uh, not by me. Yeah, no, because uh, I'm the one with the money. So uh, we're just using my credit card. And um, it's just kind of Hitman dreams up all this wonderful equipment that he wants to buy and um, brings me along so I can pay the bill. Isn't that right? That is correct, sir. Excellent. So, um, on the shopping list today, we've got some excellent stuff. If I can find it. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, so we're under Mods by Machine. Under Miscellaneous, we were going to get the Seed Trailer. And this is basically, last time we were spending a lot of time running across the yard to get seeds. Um, seed and fertilizer. Yeah, so we're, we're going to leave the fertilizer trailer because we're not. We've got the, we've um, got the huge field now to to seed. So we're going to try and we're going to get that one, and we're also going to get a larger seeder, wasn't it? Um, so right. The vintage one. Yeah. So. Uh, Minneapolis seed drill, I think it was. Yep. I'm just uh, flicking through. So yeah, sewing machines. It's the price is not very realistic, but. I think for the sake of a couple of thousand dollars, I think we're going to let it slide this time. Um, it's it's the ones where it's kind of tens of thousands of dollars out that um, really concern me. So um, we should have those uh, outside. I'm guessing you're already out there playing with them, Hitman. I am uh, just walking over to have a look. So, wow, that looks pretty good. So we've got corn there, we've got... No, no, I l I'm liking the detailing on the packages there. Although it's only corn and canola, but clearly that's not going to be the case. So who's? Oh, uh, the rest is underneath. You can't see it. That's uh, my story. Okay, yeah. I'm sticking to it. You you have lots of stories, so. I do. So um, I guess we just have to grab a tractor, and um, I think I'm going to take Gertie. All right. I'll be driving the major. So, uh, and there we go. So, so yeah, I think this, we've we've just had a few minutes just trying to figure out what we're doing, uh, largely because we've got a multiplayer um, game going that we're hoping to run kind of once a week, and the way we've configured the field here is the same way that we've now configured the fields in the multiplayer game, so neither of us could remember exactly what stage we were at for this game. <laughs> so, uh, it's all a blur. A big farming blur. Yes, it is. But we, we've got some... We're hoping to make some money on the multiplayer game. and Now I've got fibre, I'm hoping to get some more people involved and get more equipment. Make it a weekly event so that we can all kind of get together and have a good time. So... I'm definitely noticing the difference. Excellent. So a the, the fibre is paying off in, in dividends. So. So now. So looking. Sorry, sorry, go ahead. So now when you you, do, you derp up, um, we can't blame the lag anymore. Is that right? Uh, I'm pretty sure I can still manage doing that. And we forgot to get front waves. Did we? We were gonna. We've been trying to get those for the last few episodes, isn't it? Or did we? Get well, them? let's drop our trailers and go back. I wonder if you can hook them to the three-point hitch on the back, because then I could bring two back with one tractor. Um, let's try that. You can um, park the C trailer in a good spot and then grab a. Um, and then I can grab the, the. Yeah, I'll grab the cultivator and get going. So I'm thinking probably, I'm thinking probably between these trees, that's about midway, isn't it? So. Yeah, we can always move it as we go, too. Yeah. Do you want to purchase a couple front weights? Yep. Let's and if I can't bring them both back at the same time, that's no big deal. We'll just grab one next time we're back. Yeah, that'll give me a chance to get a bit of a head start on the... Um, cultivating so that it's ready, because your cedar 
now should be a little bit wider than we're getting at. Well, I might uh, do a couple strips with the cultivator just to get you ahead, too. Um, you know what? I'm thinking that I may not have loaded that particular mod this time. I, I, I could swear the, the, uh, that we had the front weights on the tractor, so I think that's what happened. Yeah, I must... I, I, yeah, we did buy them. I must just not have loaded the mod this time. I thought I'd scrolled all the way to the bottom and clicked everything, but clearly not. We can either reload or we can um, carry on. Well, we will need those, so... Will we need those for this episode, then? Because both, both mm. the cultivator and the... Um, Let's try without, we'll see how it goes. Yeah. And now we'll have an excuse when we have a massive collision. We won't have yeah, a massive front collision, it'll all be fine. Two red tractors. It's inevitable. <laughs> so. I had a look on the mod sites yesterday looking for a Ferguson tractor like the one I grew up on and I haven't been able to find one. I don't know what the model was. Yeah, we did already start some, some of the cultivating on this. I thought we had. So I think um, this is going to be another interesting one. I have had some comments um, from people. Someone suggested that we get an extra ta uh, trailer and hitch them together and have a little bit of a grain train going on. So I think when we get to harvesting next time, that's probably a, a going to be a good thing for us. Um, there's been a lot of mod suggestions, and kind of you are king of mods, so I'm leaving. I'm mostly leaving those ones for you to kind of comment on and reply to. Um, more of a prince. I haven't. I don't really uh, experiment with them too much. Okay, so. But you you are the official mod person for our uh, for our co-op. I, okay, uh, I can make that. I just in, in terms of mods, I just download the, the what I'm told to download and then take it from there. But um, other than that, um, yeah. So. I think we, we kind of said about the multiplayer game, but uh, didn't say if anyone does want to join it that's watching, then um, what you do need to do is just add me on Facebook, let me know you're interested in um, doing the multiplayer, and we'll then look to get you hooked in. Um, I'm doing it all as Facebook events, so I can invite people. Um, that's just to, uh, for the moment to control the number of people so that we can you're coming up there as well. Yeah, I just realized you've got quite a bit done here, so I'll go get the cedar. Yeah. Now, I had planned... You see that little bump ahead of you there on your right? Uh, do I see that little bump ahead of me on my right? Well, it was your right when I said it. Right ahead of you. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was going to um, kind of go around that a bit. Like, so I might bring the cedar back and seed grass around this little uh, bump here to... Cause this might be a little tricky harvesting. Um, Plus, yeah. I mean, I'm trying to do it as if we we're really farmers. Yeah. And I don't know if a farmer would cut across this or not. I don't know. No. For the time being, um, do you want me to kind of cultivate that so you can seed it? Then? Yeah, we'll leave it. We'll, uh, we'll cultivate it and we'll see how it goes. If we have any okay. trouble with it, then we'll change it. Okay. Right. I see you put the uh, the seed trailer in the shade there, so the sun wouldn't be beating on them. No, we don't. We don't want the sun kind of beating down. I think I'll park in the shade and watch you work. It's another beautiful day here in Hagenstadt. The other suggestion that was in the comments was that what, certainly when we were seeding was don't stop at the end of the field, just keep going and turn around and so 
Speaking of seeding, what are we going to be seeding? Well, we did barley, so do we need to do a different crop, or do we want to stick with what we've already done, or... I don't know. Do we need to, do we well, need to leave that up to the uh, viewers to give us some well, comments? Well, it's kind of late, because we're going to focus our seeding, so... Oh yeah, of course we are. <laughs> We have 51,000, a little over 51,000 uh, liters of barley. Um, let me have a look at the prices, but we might be doing wheat. If we do a different crop, then if we get a big demand for one or the other, then we've got something in the silos that we can go and sell. Yeah. Um, I'm not too worried about great demands at this point because a great demand on 50,000 units of wheat or uh, barley is yeah, it's not that, uh, that big a deal. We're better off using the money to get more fields. By the time you get the great demand for the crop you want, you could have you know made an extra field and made a lot more money. Fair enough. But I will seed wheat. Mm -hmm. We're going for wheat then, excellent. Mm -hmm. So this holds 310 units of seed. I don't remember what the other one held. Um, I honestly don't remember. So I'm sure some of the eagle-eyed people watching will be able to tell us. It might have been 250, but I don't know. Did you just go up the hill? Still back by the seed trailer. I. Uh, Suffering a bit of lag, I think. Yeah. I've lagged out and frozen. From uh, my computer, it looked like you went right the way up the hill, and I just couldn't figure out why, because that's normally something that we would see from uh, Sean. I think it was on your end. We're gonna, I'm gonna sh find Hitman, and um, well, he's obviously here uh, in, in voice. But um, I don't know what your tractor's up here. It, it's running, but um, you're not here. So I'm gonna rescue the tractor, and then we're gonna figure that part out, and uh, we'll be back once we've got Hitman back with us on the, in the game. Okay, so welcome back, Hitman. Um, not sure quite what happened there. You seem to have gotten lost in the void of the internet for a while. I think my computer had a, an issue, so we've just done a reboot. Uh, well, hopefully that'll fix it. Uh, the front weights that we had before are lost, so we'll have to repurchase those to get to it. Dang it. Oh well. Would they, are they lost, or would they be out at the shop? Because that's where it I shows to zero on. Ah, okay. Okay, well that's probably a, the, because I saved the episode, or saved the game before we kind of went out of it. Oh well. I don't think they were massively expensive, were they? So. No, we'll survive. Mix up for the cedar. So. So that, was, that was literally the only mod that I'd forgotten to take. So. But, uh, yeah, so... I think much like we've done in the previous, or some of the previous episodes, we won't probably show everything that we're doing here. You're, you're seeding away. Yep, I'm just checking out this cedar. It looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got that same funny quirk that the uh, original cedar that you got has where it doesn't seat anywhere near the right side. All right. Hmm. 
There's also no on-off button for it, so you just kind of drag it around seating everywhere you go. All right. That's a little bit interesting. So after we get going a while here, we can switch over so people can see you running the seater here. Yeah, definitely. So we're trying to remember the name of uh, the name of our harvester. Yeah. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I can't remember that one. It, it took a little time. I mean, I remembered the tractor's names, um, particularly Gertie. So, oh, I'll go back and watch the uh, harvesting video. I think it was in that one. Yes. Probably something like Big John or something like that. I don't know. I'm getting a little bit nervous here. There's a red tractor following me. So, hmm. I'm just kind of going crazy with which direction do I want to go. So, so if I don't hit it right, then I don't get the cultivator down in time. So it's carry on cultivating. So but there we go. So we've had we've had our excitement for this episode, so instead of derping around and kind of getting things running such that we can't actually do stuff or having tractors on top of combines and so like the the whole kind of little glitch where you went up the hill. We're, we're just going to call that it for this episode, I think. You know, Stalker does the same thing in your truck, and the next thing you know, he's wrapped around a post with a red car under a... Yellow. He sets out to make the most boring episodes as possible, then he uh, always runs into stuff. Which is what makes it entertaining, obviously. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I mean, that was one of the reasons to, uh, rather than completely reshoot and redo the episode was to kind of save and carry on although we've lost the front weights it's a bit of a shame but we, we, we're working hard so I'm sure we'll uh, we'll address that yeah we'll make the money back and not be worried about it Oh, it's nice to be able to go up and down the field, uh, the field a few times without having to refill the cedar. Yeah, that was quite uh, irritating. Quite, yeah, so but think, that's part of old time farming, I suppose. I think we said we were going to sell one of the cedars, weren't we? We were going to kind of keep the other one for our museum. So we're going to maintain a museum of the old equipment as we go along. When I look at some of the old farms around where I live, they've all done that. You always see old rusted equipment sitting in the fields or in the barn. Yeah. So. Yeah, so that sounds mm -hmm. good. I'll make it to the end. Don't, don't tell Hitman about that bit, guys. That bit that you just saw on my screen right at the very end of the film. Don't tell Hitman. I'll see it. I watch the videos. I'm a fan. Dang it! I'm a fan in it. That's that's not fair. Participant. You can't be in it and watch it as well. That's just rude. Well, actually, you can because that makes it even more funny. It's like with them. Um, I think with Sean watching the uh, communal play episodes from Feed the Beast. Um, yeah, I think you've been you started watching episode two, didn't you, recently? Yeah, I had about the 27 minute mark. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's kind of yeah. You guys are just derping around. Why the heck are you not just following a logical plan? Um, that's far too sensible. I think the plan was to stick together, and who was the first person to run off by herself? The person also known as Derpy Derp. 
to know. But I did actually die, so I've died in both of the episodes so far. So hopefully this next weekend we'll get towards shooting episode 3 and I won't die. We'll try and do something really, really super boring. Um, unless well, we the teleporting way. makes it kind of kind of cheesy or cheap, I guess. Yes. But um, that's pretty much the thing that I hear from Sean the most, aside from can I spawn stuff in, is can I teleport him. So, what I really should do it's is today, just... Today, I tell you. I know. I, what I should do is I should remove my op permission so I don't actually have the ability to do it and just say, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just another player, I don't have the ability to control the weather, I don't have the ability to teleport people um, unless I use the console and when I'm in game I'm just a player. So That's what you should do. Yeah, I think um, I think Diop Fadman is coming. Because so, then if I can't do it, I can't do it. I like the cedar, other than the fact that it doesn't see the full width on one side, but I can get over that. Fair enough. That would be something I'll be getting used to probably shortly, so uh, I think, what are we going to do, go about halfway and then have a swap? Yeah, we can swap at the end of this run if you want. Well, I was just thinking, if we, if we go about halfway, I, I'll pause the recording here, and then um, we, when okay. we swap, I'll, uh, I'll start the recording up again. Okay, that'll work. Leave you guys to it for a bit, so enjoy a nice cup of tea and biscuits whilst we kind of go away. But it'll only be a second for you anyway, so be a very quick tea and biscuits. And uh, we'll be back when we're about halfway and ready to uh, swap and show you a different viewpoint. So until then, okay, so we're back on recording now. I'm just kind of leaving the cultivator. And what, what you, you were saying something there? Hitman? I said I'm telling the foreman you're ripping up all the grass. You're telling the foreman. Which well, form, somebody. Which foreman would that be? There's got to be someone. I'll write a letter to my congressman. Okay, that, that's that sounds good. You... Well, I'm Canadian, so never mind. Um, I'm just remember, I'm, if I'm the one holding the money, then maybe you need to be writing to me. What is the name of the uh, secretary on your um? Uh, your uh, other video there, the uh, oh Jenny, Jenny yes. in accounts. Yeah. We don't have a Jenny in this, unless you're Jenny. Um, I'm not planning on being Jenny, although it is the weekend. So, what were you saying about there's no button to kind of lift this up to stop this? Uh, what are you talking about? Unfold. Oh, yes. Okay, yeah. I have to unfold the plow. Okay. Or the cedar. Okay. Sorry, I was going based on the fact that you said, oh, yeah. But it, what you were saying is it doesn't have the V to pick it up, so you unfold it, but it doesn't. So what it probably should mean is, instead of fold, is lower and raise, really. That might just be a, a thing in the, in the mod. I'm going to put this cultivator away and try the new one. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I'm now trying out a nice new cedar. And uh, I think I'm going to be getting up here. I'm going to be putting a little grass island between these trees because it's a right pain to try and do anything in between those. So. But yeah. So that's good. And then I think shortly thereafter, I think we're going to probably call it an episode. And um, then next episode we'll be back and we'll finish off the seeding and we'll do the fertilizing. Um, and then we'll take it from there without crashing into trees. Um, well, that's kind of the fun part. That's why the trees are there. convinced on that at the minute, but there we go. 
The animation of this cultivator is amazing. It's so simple, but I love it. Well, as long as you're happy, that's the important thing. Well, so... Guess what I just did. You planted grass along there? Okay, well, who are you going to blame for that? Because I'm pretty like sure that's not my fault. Are you sure you're sure? I'm pretty sure. I wasn't even on the same field. My story, and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. Well, of course, on the I multiplayer, you've, you've enlarged another, yet another field, haven't you? So you're, you're, you're the kind of resident field um, architect, as it were. It just, yeah, it makes life interesting. This yeah. cultivator is much superior to the other one. I really like it. I was, I was quite, quite, well, I wasn't quite surprised. I was quite pleased with them. Um, we were able to get Toby in last time on the uh, on the game on the multiplayer because he's wanted to try it for some time and not been able to get his multiplayer working. So he's not just tried it with with me, he's tried it with a few people and not been able to get it to work so we managed to get it working and um, that was pretty good actually need some more. yeah, I think he I think he had the difficulty um, someone had the difficulty that they couldn't put any mods on the computer because they didn't have the, the space yeah, your computer's not going to run very well if you don't have much space on the hard drive yeah. The bugs down really badly. So let's have a look here. As we've seen with props. Yeah, that's yeah. No space on the hard drive. That really didn't work very well for me, did it? That was my own silly fault, though. Should have been one of those things that I was checking and aware of, but I wasn't. So. This cultivator is much easier to use than the fixed one. Okay, so let's change the... The, uh, the old one we used. It runs along a lot better. I think it's the wheels. Yeah. I think in real life you want an oval field with this uh, cultivator because you wouldn't want to keep cranking the thing up and down. Oh, I wasn't. <laughs> oh, that, wait, that's why you were telling the foreman that I was jumping around. I wouldn't tell on you because then you'd tell on me. What would I tell on you? you you're perfect in every way imaginable, aren't you? Oh, well, I'm telling. Fair enough. trying to make this island. Uh, there we go. That'll do. Trying to make it so that we don't have to fuss over it again because it's just frustrating as heck. So I bet you're seeing a big difference in the speed you're uploading uh, files now to YouTube. Oh yes, um, it's been so much better. I uh, I was very very pleased uh, when the fiber was installed, and um, I even had the the engineer that installed it. He was um, I explained to him about the channel and how frustrating it's been, and so he's going to be checking out the channel. And he was also kind of, he was yelling at the screen when I was doing the speed test after he'd installed the line. And he's kind of, go for nine, go for nine. So we managed to get up to nine uh, megasecond upload. So uh, we were really pleased with that. 
That is pretty fast. Yeah, nine, nine times the speed that I was getting. And I'm getting a little over double what I was getting for, for uh, download. Which is, is quite pleasing as well. So, so when I'm watching Darren Stocko, it's, um, it's working pretty well for me. I'm still seeing, seeing uh, green spots when I'm going over this. Yes, yeah, so it was I. Um, well, one of these days we'll go and, and... The easiest way to spot it is to cultivate it and then uh, fertilize it. Yeah. And before you seed it, and then you can, uh, you can see the light color spots. Right, I think we've now got spot. our little island that we're not going to be worried about, so we can switch back to... what we were seeing wheat, wasn't it? Yep. I don't want to kind of change back and use the wrong crop. That would just be incredibly dirty. Oh, I thought you'd already done that. That's why I was laughing earlier. I guess I misunderstood. You thought I'd already done the, the, the island? I thought you had finished the island and then you'd gone to start another row and forgotten to switch off grass. Been there, done that. No, I'm, 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 I'm behaving. I'm doing okay. So, I'm hoping we never have to kind of do anything in between those trees again. Other than Let's see, just next time I have to plow, I might just go in there and trim the edges just a little bit, get a little more efficiency, you know. But we don't need to. Uh, we don't need to plow. Um, we will next time we buy another field because uh, they have to be plowed. Oh yes, but we don't need to. We don't need to plow this field again. Okay. Did I, I tell you I, I did a lot of testing on plowing just because different people were claiming that you did see a difference in yield, and others are saying you don't. So I just did it myself to try it, and uh, I tried all, all the crops on um, the uh, three difficulty levels. I could see no difference. Uh, plowing. So you just cultivate your field after you um, after you harvest. There's no need to pull, uh, to replow it. Excellent. Still zoom in. So why would call that myth busted? Absolutely. Uh, I would call this. Yay! No gaps. This is a huge field. This is a ginormous field. And uh, no doubt Dare will be laughing at us. I was watching one of his uh, recent uh, farming simulator Let's Plays on the Kansas map. And he was, he was talking about how huge the fields are on that. And then he was kind of saying about the let's play that we have going here and how we're, we're using this classical equipment on this huge field and he just... It's insane. And yes it is. And it's a lot of work, but... It's, it's what we've got and... There you go. Well, eventually we'll have the big equipment, probably. That's a good team in that. Tell, don't tell. People, people watching, don't tell. It didn't happen. It didn't happen like that, did it? It was, it was all perfect first pass. And um, Hitman, just you should have shut your eyes for that. You shouldn't be watching. Go about my business. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah, basically. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely kind of. I think I'm, I'm falling asleep at the wheel, so I think it's uh, probably time I'll just bring the bring the cedar back up that end. I think we perhaps need to uh, save, but I think the advantage is hopefully uh, if we get the uh, looking for 50 likes on episode four, then we're looking to maybe do this a couple of times a week, so we'll be able to do. 
be able to split up the work rather than having to do it all and have a really super late night. Oh, that would be good. It'd be nice to get more episodes. Yes, I'm sure, uh, based on the number of people kind of viewing the videos, I'm sure everyone would appreciate that. So. I find it strange that episode 2 got more views than any of the others. Yes. I don't understand that. It must be some keywords or something. I don't know, because they all should have the same keywords on them, but there we go. Right, so I'm going to leave this tractor with the sewer connected for the time being. Because when we come back, we're probably going to kind of come straight back out to the field, so I'm not going to kind of put the equipment away. I know you're not going to like that, but... That's okay, what we're doing is we're having an extended lunch break. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing, so... Okay, I'll park this down at this end and ready to go on the next pass. Okay, so, uh... I've uh, shut the engine off so we won't waste any fuel. So this will be, hopefully, like a... It's not like a part one, part two, but it's a... It's a two-part special episode. You will, but not massively necessarily that special. It's just us kind of doing what we normally do. But it is yeah, a, there's not much special in that. It is a ginormous, great big field, though. It's it's not like a cliffhanger, not like um, Dares where he was kind of. And I'm not going to go and do this auction right now. I'm going to come back in the next part. So uh, yeah. So until uh, next time, when we will be finishing off seeding and fertilizing. Um, yeah, from me it's take We're care folks. We're out of here. Yep. Arrivederci.